UK Islamic charity under fire for urging followers to pray against LGBT people. Recently, an Islamic charity in the United Kingdom was criticized for sharing a, face, a post on Facebook against the LGBT community. In a now deleted post, the Facebook page of the Abu Bakr Trust condemned the LGBT community, claiming they conduct evil deeds. The Trust's Facebook page also urged followers to pray for, quote, protection against LGBTQ and argued that homosexuality is a fallen culture. Quote, my Lord, save me and my family from what LGBTQ plus people do, the Trust post said. <laughs> which I love, save me from what they do. <laughs> the Telegraph claimed in a report that the charity staff used its social media page to spread anti-LGBT posts. The Abu Bakr Trust claimed that the controversial anti-LGBT post was created by a volunteer without any authorization. They also issued an apology for the Facebook post. The controversy has prompted the UK Charity Commission to la launch a compliance case to investigate any failures of the trust to follow standards as outlined in British law. So here's what happened. Someone, there's, there's, a, there's an Islamic charity in the UK. They have some schools that they run in Birmingham. And someone got a hold of this Facebook page and, and made this post and it said, Lord, save me and my family from what the LGBT do. <laughs> what do they do? Um, and this caused a lot of controversy. This caused a lot of backlash. They got a lot of media attention from this. And what ended up happening is that because of this, the charity commission is like, hmm, this doesn't comply with our standards. We are going to go um, investigate everything that y'all be doing because they have multiple wings of this charity. And there are some wings where the um, overseers, the government overseers have been like, yep, we're in full support of this. They seem to promote inherent British values. And then there's other things where they're like, mm, we're not so sure about this now. So this one post has pulled everything into a giant controversy. Now, the the charity has said that what happened was is that back in the day, back in like 2011, um the uh the the community surrounding this charity just decided to go ahead and create social media pages on behalf of the charity without their explicit authorization. They're just like, we're just going to go ahead and do this. And then um, apparently these people just re retained access to these accounts. And then so one of these people made this anti-LGBT post without the authorization of the charity. And since then, they've gone and resumed all control of these social media pages, da, da, da. This is what they're claiming. They're claiming that it was a volunteer and that they did not approve of this and they apologized. And they've since put better protocols in place, da, da, da. Now, the question is, Armin, do you buy that story? I don't know, but I think they're going to get a backlash from their own fans as well for not standing up for what's right. You know, I, I might, mm. that might happen as well. So this might be a rock and a hard place kind of situation. But I'm not going to try to guess about what's happening behind the scenes because I'm going to claim ignorance. I do not know. Um, but let me, I do want to read some of these tweets because they seem interesting. Uh, this oh, one's yes. saying so these this schools. Is... Oh, you go ahead. This is from Charlotte Littlewood, who's a researcher at the Hen Henry Jackson Society, which is a transatlantic think tank that looked into this situation. And she's saying, mm -hmm. these schools prepare children for, quote, a life of intolerance and in division. It's very worrying for the LGBT community. We seem to be making great leaps in some areas, but in partic this particular area, we're just not making the same headway. So she's bringing up the fact that she's concerned that this sentiment is being taught within the school. Like, whether or not this post was actually made by the school, she's saying either way, she has concerns about the values being taught to children in these schools. And here's another one mm. by someone saying, it was reported today that the Abu Bakr Trust in Walsall, which runs schools, is facing a cherry commission inquiry for branding gays evil. There's plenty more. The uh, 
Katame Nabuwat anti Ahmadi hate. I don't know why I put a he in that anti Ahmadi hatred movement, for example. Even young children are being indoctrinated. And then here you see a bunch of little girls raising their arms. And it's a screenshot of a video in which they are talking about the seal of the prophet, essentially. Um, well, I mean, oh, wait, oh, okay, okay. So for people who don't know, this emphasis on, on the prophet being the seal of the prophet is um, more of an anti ahmadi uh, chant than anything else. But yeah, these girls have no idea that they're protesting, they're chanting against a group of people. I bet you they have no idea. Yeah. But, yeah, let's go. This is, is this one? You want to read this one too? Um, so this is more tweets from the Henry Jackson Society. He says the whole thing. Oh, wait, no, no. Excuse me. That one was not it. The Abu Bakr Trust is a charity that runs a number of schools in Birmingham. They had a teacher in it with a video that was praising the Taliban. This school, I'm very proud to say, is under investigation by the Charity Commission. So this whole incident with this Facebook post caused a lot of greater scrutiny to them. And now this researcher is saying that she's seen videos of the teachers praising the Taliban. Now, I haven't seen that video, so I can't uh, confirm that, but yeah. There's going to be a lot more conflict to come, a lot more conflict to come between liberals and the Muslim community over this whole LGBT thing. This is like, I, I predict years of conflict. It's very confusing to me because in the U.S. we're actually seeing the reverse, especially with all these mm -hmm. book bans that are happening and the backlash against um, uh, LGBT education in schools and the censoring of materials and libraries and stuff. You've seen the right wing fully join teams with the Muslim community. They're like, you know what? They're, they, Islam is right, <laughs> essentially. No, wait, you're getting the right, uh, who, who's joining? So the right in the, in the, who are yeah. in the LGBT or groomers culture wave yeah. backlash have joined forces mm -hmm. with Muslims. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But the, that means the conflict is strengthening between the liberals and Muslims because now they're even joining with the Republicans a lot of their conservatives so that's going to make their that's going to make hating mm -hmm. on them even easier because it used to be like Muslims like are these like are these that a protected minority that we're supposed to be protecting or we do we hate their ideas now if you join forces with mm. Republicans and conservatives they're like okay you are an enemy number one right now <laughs> so it's going to be easier for you to go after them right so yeah, but yeah, anyways, yeah, yeah. The, the Muslims in the United States are kind of divided you have the care organization you got you have that linda sarsour kind of type of people who are mostly uh, in line with the democrats but then you have the more conservative muslims who are more in line with the conservative christians right mm -hmm. who are both mm -hmm. anti-liberalism that they see liberalism as a major threat in the world get my best-selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description